you know, when I saw this article, I was really shocked. But look at the times that we're in, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're approaching the 400-year mark. And everything is turning up on the earth right now. It is like back-to-back -back tragedies going on. So this came out in the LA Times, July 6, 2019. 3,000 earthquakes since 4th of July. Since July 4. I mean, look, this is the 7th. 3,000 earthquakes, y'all. And more big ones likely coming. You know, they said the area that this earthquake hit on the 4th and the 5th, they said another one is definitely coming in the next few days. Man, all you can do is break yourself, right? You can't do anything else. You know, I'm going to go back and we're going to look at some of these pictures. See if they will come up. Um, here we go. Wow. Yeah, look at that home. Yeah, when I start seeing the videos of the earthquake, that was a pretty devastating earthquake. I mean, that, that shook really hard. That was pretty violent. And you don't realize it until you start seeing some of the videos that are out. Yeah, they had to clear out the hospital, so I'm not shocked to see that. And... When I watch some of the videos, man, that thing shook violently. I mean, just for those few seconds. You can see that long crack in the road right there. Wow. Yeah, I did see the fires. Wow. And they're showing you, it's like, yeah, It. I was looking at some of the maps too. Wow. And it, it was like a cluster of these quakes and smaller quakes all in the same vicinity. Wow. Look at that. Yes, that's okay. Seismologists. Yeah, that that is shocking. Um, you know, I was really shocked to see. Um, you know, and I'm glad the people put the videos up because, you know, it gave everybody a good insight on what was happening. So I was grateful, you know, because where I am in New Jersey, we never had quakes like that. So, you know, when I see that kind of stuff, you know, it makes you realize nowhere, you know, no matter where you go in this country, there's some sort of weather or you know, it, like the Midwest have a lot of tornadoes and flooding in certain areas and you have the earthquakes. I mean, where do you really go? You know, I know a lot of people, oh, you should move. Okay, you move and you just have a new problem. 
somewhere else. I mean, really, there is nowhere for you to go and you're going to be free of any type of natural disasters or anything else. There's always something, you know? All right. Southern California could experience another sizable earthquake over the next week, seismologists said Saturday. The U.S. Geological Survey has calculated a 27% probability the region will be hit by a magnitude 6 or greater quake in the coming days, according to Caltech seismologist Eagle Huskin. We're likely to see maybe one or two of those in the next week, he said at a news conference. Wow. The USGS estimates that the probability of a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake hitting within the next week has fallen to 3%, down from 6% on Friday. That probability is over the next week, but it is likely packed into the hours and days after the main shock, Caltech seismologist Doug Given said. In other words, the probability that we will experience another earthquake of magnitude six or higher is dropping by the minute, he said. Every minute that ticks by, it becomes less likely. Okay, the, height, uh, the heightened seismic activity comes in the aftermath of a 7.1 magnitude quake that hit near the town of Ridgecrest, about 125 miles northeast of Los Angeles on Friday night. That was preceded by a 6.4 magnitude earthquake in the same area the morning of the 4th of July. Scientists are now calling that a foreshock. Since the fourth, Caltech seismologists have detected at least 3,000 smaller quakes. And you can see the area right here is a whole cluster of them. So a bunch of small quakes have happened. That that is that number is that's crazy. Three thousand since the fourth. Wow. Wow. You know when I was thinking about aftershocks, I was thinking more like hundreds. You know, three thousand. Wow. Those include 340 earthquakes with a magnitude greater than 3, 52 with the magnitude greater than 4, 6 with a magnitude greater than 5, Huskin, Husson, said Saturday. Wow, that is a lot. 3,000, I can't get past that number. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. That is a lot. And at the same time, that's scary that something like that can occur all in one area. And they're showing you on the map where those quakes are occurring. They all seem to be like in a cluster. Wow. So that's all across um, Southern California right there. So, you know, they're saying what we have heard over the last few days, that this is the strongest quake that happened in the last 20 years in that area. Okay, in total, the this earthquake sequence is expected to generate about 34,000 aftershocks with a magnitude 1 or greater over the next six months, he said. 
that's a lot. But if it's a one, you're not even going to, you're not going to feel that. You're not going to feel it. All right. So they said there were no deaths, no injuries reported. Some homes, of course, were damaged because that, that was a pretty hard shake in that area. And Ridgecrest area, you know, I did see the damaged homes. Some of the foundations were, you know, really messed up and homes were tilted. I saw, you know, a few of them on fire. So we did see that. Okay, so Governor Gavin Newsom has uh, requested a presidential emergency declaration for the affected regions. With the fear of more aftershocks, Jimmy and Jack Roberts are taking no chances of staying in their home. Yeah, a lot of people were sleeping outside. They were too afraid to go in their home and even sleep in their homes. Okay, um, they're just talking about a couple. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we just got to keep our eyes open for the next few days to see what else is going to hit in that area. They're saying in the next couple of days, they expect another earthquake. So we will see what happens. Wow. All of you out there in California, around that area, please be careful. And if the conditions don't seem like it's safe enough for you to be in your house, please just get out of there. You know, I, I know it's tough, but a house can be replaced. You can't be replaced. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.